Aljamain, the belt is still yours. You got the finish just as you predicted, but you did talk about how you thought this would be a five round battle. And if you got the finish, it might be later in this fight. When you got into that first round with TJ Dillashaw, you said you didn't realize that maybe he was injured, but what was it like for you having con complete control of the former champion? Uh, it was unreal. I mean, everything I envisioned that was gonna happen, pretty much happened, and I played this fight out so many different ways. I was like, I might be able to take him down and manhandle him. I might be able to take him down, he'll get right back up, and then we're battling, and then we're both exhausted, and a knock him out, drag him out fight. Um, I think they noticed that his shoulder came out at the end of the first round when he was walking back to his corner because I turned my back, uh, but they pointed out to me. I was like, oh, which one? And uh, yeah, I'm, I'm just, uh, I'm on cloud nine right now. As you should be. Did you change your approach to the second round after you heard that? Or was that exactly what you would have been doing anyway? Exactly what I was going to do. I just wanted to stay in his face. And I told the coaches, I was like, there's a couple of different ways we could play this. He might be aggressive like Jan was, and I have to play Matador a little bit. Or I just say, if he is aggressive, I'm just going to go forward. And it doesn't matter what, I'm not taking a step back and try to get him down on the ground and do my thing. Take him down, backpack him up, send him home. Yeah, you certainly did that. Do you feel like? Are you worried at all that because there was an injury, people might take away how great your own performance was? I mean, how did the injury happen? I mean, he got taken down, right? Multiple times. He got ground and pounded. I, I like to think I was the one that caused that. It might have been something that he was dealing with. We all got injuries. I got bicep things. I thought I was going to probably tear my bicep tendon tonight. So um, it's just one of the things that we, we come in here, we step in the octagon, we take that risk, and that's on us. I mean, hopefully that wasn't the case because I don't want no one putting an asterisk next to a dominant win like that. I got the takedown. His shoulder didn't come out when I got the takedown. I got to mount. His shoulder didn't come out when I got the mount. So as far as I'm concerned, that's all me. Spoken like a true champion and well-deserved. You now tie the history books with two title defenses like we spoke about this week. There's been a lot of dom or there's there hasn't really been a dominant champion in this division. There's been two title defenses at the most. Cruz, Dillashaw, and now you are all tied for two apiece. You want to have your third. You mentioned Cheeto Vera in there. Do you believe that's the next fight? I don't know. I mean, there's Cheetos, there's Sadudu, there's Sugar, there's so many different options. There's um, Sandman. So, I mean, I got respect for all these guys, but at the end of the day, you sign that down line, the trash talking begins. So, uh, I think Dom still has the most wins. You got to include those WC wins. The same way the UFC includes Strike Force wins with the UFC wins. So, right now, I'm chasing him. I'm chasing Dom. That's amazing, Aljo. That's great to give credit to a former champion there. No matter what, we cannot wait to see who you face next. We know there will be a great lead up to it and a great fight as well. But congratulations on this very sweet victory. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.